let's say I have some custom thing I wrote or some crazy application that's like out of support. But, you know, we've had this application for like 20 years. <laughs> can I yeah. drag that in? You can drag it in and there are two ways to drag it in. One is you can drag it in with your ABAP ECC code and say, mm -hmm. I'll just let it run on ABAP on S4 as it is because it works. Or on the cloud, you have three ways to deploy the code. You can deploy it as an in-app extension. You can deploy it as a side-by-side -side extension, which is you can go to Node.js or CAP as a programming model. And a lot of industry solutions today are being built on CAP and CAP is becoming the new de facto standard. So that could yeah. be as an option. And then you've got a BAP platform on the cloud, which is the mm. steampunk environment. We can move the ABAP to the cloud, which is the rest, restful ABAP programming model. And then you have it up there completely running on the latest version of s hana and the latest version of ABAP on the cloud. And guess what? It is upgrading the cloud version every three months. So you're getting all the cool new features of ABAP on the cloud almost every three months. That means you're not sitting in an old ECC with a very old ABAP version. You're on a cloud and you have the latest ABAP version anytime, which means the power for a developer improves so much more because they Processes. are able to get all the new features, all the new Here features of ABAP that they can start using.